Hey everyone, welcome to your 20 minute yoga series. My name is Bruce Chung and in today's practice we'll be focusing on the neck, shoulders and upper back and what we'll be doing with those areas is working to find a stretch or a release. So let's actually start in Vajrasana Hero Pose. That's the posture that I'm sitting in myself. I'm going to come down onto the shins, allow the inner thighs to touch. And if you find this a bit uncomfortable for the ankles or the knees, what you can do is place uh, a block or a pillow in between the heels and the hips. All right, so I actually might do that myself. So go ahead and sit up nice and tall, breathe in. And then let's start right away by exhaling, lowering the chin down towards the chest. Okay, just allow the head to hang. But as your chin comes towards the throat, maintain a tall spine. So doing your best not to flex the spine. And then lift the chin looking forward and then start to lift the chin even higher so that you start looking up. And also here, as the head hangs back, do your best not to extend the spine. So instead of letting your whole body lean back, draw up through your breastbone and just feel the throat opening even more. And then bring the chin forward, inhale. On the exhale, turn your head towards the right. So think of moving the chin towards the right shoulder and just make sure that it's the, the neck rotating. You're, Head is turning so, the, so that your eyes are looking to the right rather than the shoulder moving. And then bring your head through center, inhale. On the exhale, we start moving our chin towards the left. And just really trying to feel the shoulders that they stay mostly fixed in space. So not allowing either shoulder to move. Just gently rotating the neck so that your head can look a bit more towards the left. Okay, and then we'll come back to center with our head. Inhale. On the exhale, this time it's right ear towards right shoulder. Okay, and you might notice here that I'm not bending so much, and that's just really because of the, let's say, limited range I have in my neck. Limited, for lack of a better word. But by all means, some of you might actually bring your ear a little bit closer to the shoulder, just making sure that it's the head that is flexing laterally versus you trying to lift the shoulder towards the ear. Now stay in this position with your head or your right ear towards the right shoulder and then take your chin and then begin moving the chin towards the right shoulder. And then stay here in this position. So the chin is slightly down and it's also turning towards the right. Continue to feel uh, or rather feel into the left side of your neck, making sure that in this position your left shoulder isn't coming forward. Lift the chin slightly, but face the right. <laughs> and then come back to center, inhale, and then exhale, take pause. Okay, breathing in, and then on the breath out, left ear towards left shoulder. Wow, so if you're anything like myself, who does have a bit of tension in the neck, you might feel quite, an, um, quite a strong response already. You know, um, depending when you're watching this video here, it, it is winter and um, we're also in lockdown. So there's a lot of lifting of shoulders to ears. There's a lot of tension really in the neck and shoulders. Now keep your head tilting laterally left, but then begin moving the chin towards the left shoulder. Move your chin towards the left shoulder. And so maybe the chin is on this diagonal. Continue to draw the right shoulder back. And also just make sure, I just noticed here that I was tilting a little bit through the spine, but the spine staying mostly upright, mostly vertical. Take one more breath. And then begin lifting the chin, but keep looking out towards the left side. And then bring your chin out in front of you. Wow. Okay, so let's lift our hips. Let's release the pose and come to a downward facing dog pose. <clears throat> Press firmly through your hands and draw the thigh bones back. 
with your exhalation, lo lower your chin towards the chest. Think of closing the throat off. And in this case, I might be actually closing off the mic, but think chin tight towards the chest. And then keep your down dog, but lift the chin away from the chest. Imagine looking forward and allowing the back of your head to move towards the upper back. And then relax the head completely. Just let it hang. And then we're gonna to look towards the space of our hands. Step forward with the right foot. Let's turn the back heel flat like a warrior two position. And then bring your right forearm on top of your right thigh. Allow your chest to open up towards the left. And let's go left hand to the hip. Breathe in. On the exhale, right ear towards right shoulder. So letting the weight of the head uh, surrender to gravity. Sometimes it can be quite controlled when the ear hangs to the shoulder, but see if you can let go. Maybe it feels like you're letting go, but really check in. Try to keep your chest facing the left side of your mat. Bring your chin towards the right shoulder. There's a bit of um, working in balance. We're gonna stretch our left arm over the ear. And then the left hand towards the floor, left knee towards the ground. And on the in breath, lift your right arm up. On the out breath, right hand holding, or just resting the right palm at the back of your head and lightly push the head into the palm and think of your right elbow reaching to the sky but also moving towards the left side keep your front leg bending and then release your right hand to the floor let's step forward with our left foot lengthen through the lengthen through the spine and then exhale fold again inhale half lifting and exhale forward folding Rise to standing, inhale, lift your arms. Bring your hands together in front of the chest. Lower your hands, Tadasana. And then bend your legs, reach your arms above your head, Utkatasana, chair pose. Stay, in, stay lifted through your chest, draw your arms back. Interlock the fingers together. And maybe bend your elbows slightly so you have the space to press between the wrists, squeeze the heel of the palms together, hug the inner elbows closer, and then begin to straighten the elbows, thumbs away from sacrum. Lift your sternum higher, breathe in. And then exhale, bring your ribs to rest on the thighs as you lift the buttock bones and draw the face towards the shins. Now stay in this forward fold, gently move your arms from side to side. As the arms move side to side, additionally, pull them away from the back. Let's release both of the hands to the floor. Look forward on the inhale, downward dog, exhale. <clears throat> okay, and bring your chin close towards the chest. And then lift your chin away from the throat, not only looking forward, but seeing if you can take the back of your head towards the back of your chest. Keep pushing your hips to down dog. And then relax the neck. Step forward with your left foot. Turn the back heel down. Think warrior two stance. And then lift the left elbow to rest on your left thigh. And then right hand coming to meet your hip. Turn your chest so it faces the right side. Breathe in. On the breath out, begin lowering your left shoulder towards the ear, and then just let the head go completely. So see what you need to do to really feel that the weight of the head surrenders to gravity. your head hanging, reach your right arm over the ear.
and then look down, release your right hand and right knee down onto your yoga mat. Lift your left arm up, inhale. And then exhale, take your hand to the base or the back of your head, I should say. And then very gently press your head into the palm and then feel like your elbow is trying to move to the sky as well as towards the right. And then release your left hand to the floor. Let's step forward with our right foot. Looking straight ahead of us, breathe in and then forward folding. Rise into the sky, lift your arms up, lift your arms up over your head, inhale. Stay standing, exhale, lace, lace the fingers at the back part of your head. And then bring your elbows to point forward. And then slowly bring your chin down and towards the chest. Keep your spine vertical. So feel that even though we're gently pulling the head down, allow the back of your head to lightly push back up into the palms. Just do that for one more breath. Keep your hands where they are. Lift your chin, open the throat, and then begin to move your elbows back. And then in this position, just imagine that I'm stood somewhat behind you and holding gently your arms, pulling them back so the front of your chest can open more. Continue to press the head into the palms and then lift the chin, look up. Reach your arms to the sky and back. Bend your legs, chair. And then forward fold with the exhale. Okay, lift the chest. And then down dog, exhale. <clears throat> and we're gonna look forward, right foot between the hands. Find that warrior two stance. And let's come up into warrior two. Bring your right hand to the left side of the head, inhale. On the exhale, gently lower or gently pull your right ear to the right shoulder. And then with your left arm, continue to feel it moving to the back of your mat, but also slow, uh, slightly down. And then slowly bring your neck up through uh, vertical, stretch the arms long, and then reverse warrior. Reach the right arm up and back. Continue to bend deep into the front leg. Let's bring both of the hands to the floor. Lift our heel, back heel, and lower the knee down, Anjaniyasana. Stretch both of your arms over the head. Reach your arms out to the sides, so the arms are at the height of the shoulders, and then rotate your arms so the palms face down, and then rotate the arms even further so your thumbs begin to point towards the earth, palms face the back, and can you press the arm bones towards the space behind you. Rotate the arms so your palms end up facing up. Lift your arms alongside the ears, and then down dog, exhale. Look forward, left foot between the hands. Turn your right heel flat and come to warrior two, rise. With your left arm, the front, reach to the right side of your head, the right temple. And then as you exhale, gently pull or lower the left ear towards the left shoulder. In theory, you could keep your right arm at the height of the shoulder I'm gonna take it down a little bit lower, but at the same time, I'm reaching the right fingers away, like a right shoulder cap moving away from right earlobe. And slowly bring your neck towards vertical, release the left arm forward, reverse warrior. Let's bring both of our hands down, lower your right knee to the mat, and then on the inhale, lift your arms, Anjaniyasana, 
Exhale, bring the arms out like a T with the palms facing the floor. Rotate the shoulders so that the thumbs begin to point down and the palms face back. The shoulders are rolling inwards, okay? Internally rotate the shoulders and then push back. And then as you push your palms back, see if you can squeeze out a little bit more internal rotation. And then rotate your arms in the opposite direction so it feels free in the shoulders, palms face up, and then reach the arms high into the air. Inhale, and then down dog, exhale. <clears throat> okay, inhale, lower onto your knees. Lift the chin, open the throat, cow. Exhale, toes together, knees wide, child's pose. Stay here, breathe in. And breathe out. Push down through your palms, arms straight, lift the head, look up. Exhale, bring your body all the way down onto the floor. <clears throat> Set your feet so they are a little bit closer together. Excuse me. And then we'll reach the arms behind the back. Interlock the fingers together and let's go for the other grip, whatever that might be for you. And then before you even lift your head, let's go ahead and let the forehead rest. Uh, take the front of the shoulders, wrap them away from your mat, inner shoulder blades squeezing towards the spine. Feel quite active through your arms. You're already lifting them away from the buttocks and then begin to lift the chest. But keep your chin down. Keep your head heavy, but use your arms to help lift the front of the heart higher. <clears throat> and then come down. Relax your arms. Turn your head to the right. Okay, head forward. We're going to interlock the fingers at the back of our head. The back of the head, excuse me. So you lace the fingers, right? It's at the back part of your head. Notice your elbows on your mat. Here, bring your elbows up. And just see how high can your elbows lift in this position. And then think of where your elbows are relative to the sides of the head and keep them at that position. Lift the head up. Lightly pushing the back of your head into the palms. This is quite strong. Feel your tailbone drawing back. And maybe... <laughs> Lift the thighs. Keep pushing the head into the palms. Outer elbows to the sky. Ooh, and come down slowly. Turn your head to the left. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Place your hands to either side of you. Downward dog. Let's inhale, stretch the right leg to the sky. Look forward, right foot between the hands. We'll keep the back heel lifted and then rise to a high crescent lunge. Lift both of your arms over your head and then bend your elbows much like cactus arms. Okay, press the upper arm bones back, press the forearms back and then bend your elbows even deeper as though you're bringing the tips of the elbows towards the sides of the waist. Feel the chest nice and wide. Take your palms and press them forward towards the space in front. Arms are straight, shoulder blades protract or widen, and then hands to the floor, down dog. <clears throat> the left leg to lift. Step between the hands. With your right knee straight, rise into high lunge. Turn your palms to face forward, bend your elbows much like cactus arms. And then think about bringing your elbows and hands behind the line of the shoulders so the front heart space is wide. Then bend your elbows deeper, feel contracting through the upper part of your back, almost like the tips of your elbows could touch the tops of the hips. Your palms are already facing in front. Push forward like you're pushing the wall away from you, straighten the arms, and then downward dog, exhale. <clears throat> We're gonna take three more breaths in this dog pose. 
And then you can decide here if you will continue with a practice. You can certainly increase the intensity, um, turn it into a flow perhaps, or really whatever it is that serves you. If this is where you're ending, let's come down onto our knees, cross the legs, and sit tall with the eyes closed. I do thank you all for joining again in this, in this practice. And if there's anything you want to work on, if you want to have a bit more of a flow practice, I will be adding that um, in this series with the next class. So look out for that. And until then, I bow to you. Namaste.